What's up, 7th Art Enthusiasts? Welcome back to this film review channel, offering a delicious buffet of opinions with a side platter of comment, a salad of insight and a beverage of context. And before I go further, I want to address those poor people who approach cinema wanting to white-knuckle it without subscribing to this channel. Please show some emotional maturity and subscribe and leave a comment saying what your favourite film of the moment is. Rodrigo Sorogoyen's The Beasts is a fierce, bitter tale with a flinty sharpness, partly a social realist drama of class and xenophobia, partly a rural noir horror, a Euro art house twist on straw dogs or deliverance. It's inspired by the true story from 2010 of a middle-class hippie idealist Dutch couple who attempted to settle in the remote Spanish village of Santuala in Galicia's Wild West and fell out badly with their neighbours over their gentrification plans, a row which escalated into a nightmare. On n'est pas venu pour faire la guerre. Tu savais ce que les Français faisaient dans les temps d'avant. Ils venaient à conquérir. Ils venaient à conquérir parce qu'ils pensaient que nous sommes des tarados de merde. Le propre Napoléon le dit. Nous sommes des tarados de merde. Tarados de merde. Vous le suivez pensant, Français. C'est ce double. Non, Jean. Ce site est mon projet de vie. Moi et ma femme. Chaque fois que je me lève, à 5 de la matinée, je me souviens de toi. Et là... Empieza otro día precioso. Antoine, viens voir. Ils ont rien d'autre. Puis surtout, ils ont rien à perdre. Ustedes viven puerta con puerta, hombre. Tomen una cerveza, hablen. Que estas son cosas de vecinos. Que te vieron con una cámara. Estabas grabando, verdad? Verdad que me estaba. Denis Ménochet and Marina Foy play Antoine and Olga, an educated French couple who have moved into this area with big plans to revitalise and modernise its farming techniques. But this film doesn't give us the gradual deterioration of their relations with the neighbours. As the story begins, they have already infuriated these people irretrievably by vetoing a communal plan to sell out to a wind turbine company, an issue interestingly also raised in Carlos Simon's film Alcaraz. It was a one-off chance for easy money that local people had wanted to grab, tiring of a lifetime of farming toil and angered by these high-handed foreigners airily telling them they've just been doing it wrong. The film begins with a hypnotic and deeply disquieting sequence showing how the local Spanish people subdue and kill beasts with their bare hands. Antoine and Olga's scary hillbilly neighbours are the two glowering, resentful brothers, Zan, played by Luis Sahera, and Lorraine, played by Diego Anido, feral and boorish, living with their ancient widowed mother on what looks to be a squalid and chaotic farm. Their equivalent of playing banjo on the front porch is playing dominoes all afternoon in the local pub, baiting Antoine, who feels he has to make an appearance there, and occasionally inviting him to play, gestures which are pure provocation and contempt. Antoine suspects that someone is breaking into his property to sabotage his crops. He begins covertly videoing his neighbour's behaviour, a high-tech surveillance which enrages them further. The Beast is a movie about fear and resentment and about Brexit-style nationalist hatreds that exist in a not exactly united European Union. The source material itself poses an interesting storytelling dilemma for the filmmaker. Do you start with the couple's initially sunny idealism starting to unravel as neighbour relations break down? Not here. Sorogoyen starts in the middle. Or might you start with the eerie mystery of the husband's climactic disappearance and the local police's apparent reluctance to help the foreign wife? Again, no. The true crime event occurs in The Beasts two-thirds of the way in, after which its final act is a kind of coda, Olga's grim determination to find her husband's body with or without police help. Here is where Marina Foy's performance raises the movie and strengthens its steel core of anguish. It's a strange film in many ways, difficult to pin down tonally or generically, but it leaves a trail of unease in your mind. That's it. Please give this vlog a like and a share on what I will delicately call your socials. And please, oh please, subscribe to this channel and suppress whatever critical thoughts you may have about my approach to this and leave a comment resoundingly supporting my content and endorsing my digital brand. You know it makes sense. Also, please buy my book, The Films That Made Me, an edited selection of my essays and reviews for The Guardian. Until next time.